Hi guys, this is Luan Skaggs and welcome to the channel. Now to get started, we'll take our plastic bags and we'll lay them out like this. We want to take our fingers and push them into the corners. Make sure that they are nice and straight inside and just have our bags nice and straight. Now I laid five plastic bags on top of each other and cut them like this. Now we'll open all the pieces on top and then we'll cut them in half. Now this is how we'll cut the side pieces. Now we'll take one of the side pieces, we'll cut it down the center, making a little loop. Now we'll take five of the middle pieces, we'll gather them and hold them together like this. Now I got these 4 inch zip ties from on Amazon and this is what I'll be using to zip tie the pieces onto the circle. Now all the materials needed for this project will be found in the description down below. Now we'll zip tie the pieces about an inch apart from each other. Now we'll continue doing this all the way around and then we'll come back to make the base. Now for the mirror you'll take a piece of cardboard and place the mirror on it and measure two and a half inches all the way around the mirror and cut out the piece of cardboard. Now we'll cut the smaller set of plastic bag and we'll glue it around the mirror. Now you will have to add another piece onto the mirror to completely finish the mirror. Now once you're finished gluing on the plastic bags, you'll take it outside and spray paint it. Now I'm using the silver Rust-Oleum metallic spray paint to spray paint both the mirror and the table. Now to make the base, I'm using this 13 inch mirror. Now we'll place it on a piece of cardboard, we'll draw it out on the cardboard and then we'll cut out the cardboard. Now we'll cut out four pieces of this cardboard. Now that we have our four pieces cut out, we'll take the circles that we cut and using regular school glue, we will glue three of the circles together. Now you could use something heavy to keep it in place until it's dried, but I have these clips, so I'll clip them around the edges and wait until it's dry and then come back. We will measure the height that we want our side table to be and we'll cut out some cardboard that length. Then we'll roll it up so that it could go around the side table. Now once we have all three layers of cardboard dry, we'll take the side pieces that we bent and glue it onto our base. Now I got this wooden doll from Walmart and I cut it in half and this is what I'll be using in the base for support. Now you could glue it in the inside. Now I use three wooden dowels and then I use small strips of cardboard to keep the cardboard in place that I glued on. Now we'll stick a layer of extra cardboard in the inside and we'll glue it onto the wooden dowels. This is to start making our inside nice and neat. Now once we're finished gluing the cardboard into the inside, this is what it should look like. It does not have to be perfect, this is just fine. 
Now we'll take our last remaining circle and we'll cover it with peel and stick paper. Now this would be linked in the description down below. Now when you're cutting the paper for the first time, you want to leave a little bit at the side because we want to have room just in case we make any mistake. Now we'll peel it and stick it onto our cardboard and cut off the excess. Now that we are finished, we'll make another piece with a hole in the middle for the top. Now to make our lining piece, we will take a piece of fabric and we will fold it like this. Now we will place our fold fabric in the center of our top piece and we will cut it half an inch wider than the inside circle. Once we nudge where to cut, we will use our top circle as a guide to cut the fabric. Now we will take the fabric at the side and glue the edge so that we have a neat inside. Now we'll glue the sides onto our circle. Now we'll glue the side pieces together. Now we'll cut off the excess fabric. Now we will snip the edges and glue it on the top. Now we'll take the plastic bags that we attach and we'll cut it between here so that we could glue it onto our side table. Now when you attach the plastic bags you'll have two sizes, the ones from the middle and the ones from the end. The middle one would be shorter and the ends would be longer. So we'll glue the shorter ones at the ends and the longer ones in the middle. Now we'll glue the plastic bags all around the frame and then we'll come back. Now after you're finished gluing on the plastic bags onto the side table, you'll take it outside and spray paint. Now you could spray paint it whatever color that suits your home. I'm using the silver rustoleum spray paint to spray paint mine. Now after spray painting the mirror and the side table, this is how they came out. Now if you like this look, you could stop right here. But I want to push it a little bit further. So I'll add some more stuff onto mines and I'll show you that right now. Now I have these two sizes of Dollar Tree mirror. I'll be using eight of the large frames and four of the small frames to finish the project. Now I'm using the hacksaw that I picked up from the Dollar Tree to cut the frames in half. Now I took this reflective paper and placed it onto a cereal box and cut the cereal box into half inch strips. Now we'll glue the half inch strips on the frame. Now if you don't want to buy these Dollar Tree frames just to do this mirror and this table, you could use the half inch strips just like that. You could just glue them on to the mirror and on the table. Now we will glue the frames onto the side table and we will glue eight on the top and eight on the bottom. Now we'll stagger the look so that it have much more of an interesting look. But if you want to have yours straight, that is completely fine. You could create this in any design that you like.
Now for the legs, I'm using these decorative balls that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Now you could use any type of decorations you want to make your legs for your side table. This is what I had at home, so I'm going to be using these. I'm going to be gluing on three of the balls onto the bottom of the side table. Now once we have finished gluing on the legs onto the side table, we'll move on to finishing the mirror. Now to hang the mirror on the wall, I'll be using two large command strips. Now using the small frames, we'll glue them onto the mirror like this. Now after gluing these onto the mirror and placing them onto the wall, I realized that before we glue the frames onto the mirror, we should glue craft sticks in the back of the mirror so that we could glue the frames that we are gluing on now onto the craft sticks and then onto the mirror. That would keep the frames a lot more sturdy. I did not do that on this mirror so I ended up taking double sided tape and sticking it onto the wall to keep it sturdy. So if you don't want to have to use double sided tape then use the craft sticks and stick it onto the craft sticks first and then you could have it stuck on the wall without having to use double sided tape. That's the tip that I found out after doing it myself and realizing what is a better way to do it. So I guess sometimes you learn by doing and then I could tell you guys a much better way of doing it. Now we'll hang it on the wall and see how the mirror and the side table looks together. Now this is the way the mirror came out. I like adding the mirror reflective paper over the top of the plastic bags. That gave it a contrast and made it look a lot more interesting. So I love the way that this mirror came out with those details. Now this is what I was speaking about, having to use the double sided tape to keep it on the wall. So if you don't want to have to use the double sided tape here, that's why I say use the craft sticks in the back instead, so that you wouldn't have to use the double sided tape to keep it on the wall. Now this is the design that I placed the mirror reflective paper onto the side table. I really love how the side table came out and this is how I placed them in between each other so that it has much more of an interesting look. So I like the way that the mirror and the matching side table came out. So it is pretty interesting to see how you could take plastic bags and turn them into a beautiful side table and a beautiful matching mirror. And then we also have our two in one where we have our storage, where we could store any little thing that we want. This would be so nice as a stand by our bed that we could put any little trinkets inside of our stand and then we could have our side table. So if this is something that you guys would like and is something that you guys would like to try out, let me know it in the comment section down below. You know I love hearing from you guys. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So thanks for taking the time out to watch this video. You have a blessed and awesome day. Now if you like this video, you may also like these as well. See you in the next one.